We will now discuss entering budgets and charging service charges. There may be more than one budget in a block payable by one or more types of unit. Budgets may be entered against expense categories, and then expense accounts. Each expense account may be linked to a sinking fund so that any excess of income over expenditure is not shared with those units that did not contribute to that expense. A lease cost centre is a total of a budget. The frequency may be yearly, half yearly or quarterly. The apportionment may be equal or percentage, i.e. on a square footage basis. If on a square footage or percentage basis, the rate a unit contributes will be contained in the unit file and all the rates should equal to 100%. You may see the rate each unit contributes in their unit file. If the unit is not an apartment, it may contribute to the estate but not to the apartment service charge. If the unit is an apartment, it may contribute to the estate and the apartment service charge at the rate contained in the lease. A new budget may be entered annually, but the rates may remain the same. Once the budgets are entered and the contributions are correct, you may charge all service charges via transactions, charges, all units. The unit accounts are debited and a PDF of the service charge demands is available in the document depot. Next, we will discuss creditors and service charge receipts.